Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, menopause, anger management, dyslexia, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today, or this evening, I'm just going to share with you some of the um, art that I've been working on. Once again, um, let me move my um, move this over a little bit. I have my phone positioned against my bong, so you know, it's been a very, uh, very eventful day to say the least. Without getting into uh, a lot of detail about that, long story short, the day is now evening, and it's time for me to relax. Uh, I roll a joint, a really long one, <laughs> a skinny one composed of uh, leftover um, joints and, uh, and some concentrate because I did a dab session earlier to help alleviate a lot of stress and anxiety I've been feeling. Um, so I want to show you a drawing that I just started working on. Um, I wanted to do a lot of sewing today, but I couldn't find any of my sewing needles. They're gone. and. I tried ordering sewing needles from eBay through this one seller and they still they hadn't sent me the needles and it's been like, uh, fuck, it was in February, uh, I think it was the end of February when I ordered and it was supposed to be here March 7th and it's April already so, uh, very lame, so, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm all out of, I can't find my last sewing needle so I decided to draw and that's usually what happens if I can't find my sewing needles or from all out of sewing needles and I just draw. And it's a drag because those sewing needles I ordered were of really good quality. They're very strong and thick. And that's why I like my sewing needles so they don't break because I'm sewing everything by hand. So, um, yep. Cheers and thanks for joining me. Joint is kind of um, precarious right now. It's kind of precariously rolled because um, that's just how it would happen. <laughs> now I got a little bit instant here from the ember that came off of there. Let me see. I'll tap it down there. I was having a hard time lighting here. Alright, good enough. I'm going to have to take off the sweater because it's getting hot in here. Um, but yeah, I've been doing some art. A lot of, all kinds of art. You can check out um, the past videos, little videos I've put up. Little short videos. Also, um, you can check out my Instagram. I'm under the name uh, Psychedelic Dark Moon. And uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of projects I've been working on. Uh, clay pieces. Uh, I've started sculpting with polymer clay again. I'm going to turn on the fan. It's getting hot in here. Hold up. It's been really warm lately. Let me turn the fan on. Now it's really loud and you can't hear me. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, I might turn this off and just get a cold drink because the fan in the air conditioner here is way loud, so I don't want to be yelling over it. So I'm just going to get a cold drink instead. Alright, it'll cool me off without having to turn on that loud fan slash air conditioner. So yeah, um, I've been doing a lot of uh, art, a lot of creative work to alleviate stress um, and anxiety. And um, it's really been helping. I'm going to show you um, one piece right now that I started working on just uh, 
So just yesterday I started working on it. And here it is right here. Well, I have a better photo of it when I put it up on, um, when I put it up on Instagram. It was just a, like, a drawing that I did, started on last night, just to alleviate stress. A lot of times these little, these, not little, these characters come to me, these beings, I just have to say not characters, come to me, um, to give me a message or to reassure me, uh, to show me I'm on the right path. Um, this one's definitely bringing in some info for me, and I'll know exactly what it's all about, the message that is being for brought forth with this this uh, being when it's completed a lot of times that's what happens and now that I've got uh, now that I've got Mod Podge now I can um, excuse me now that I've got Mod Podge now I can um, take a lot of these drawings that I've been making and put it into this book that I've been putting together of my drawings I found this when I found it I was given this old yearbook it was really old yearbook was damaged and uh, instead of throwing it away I decided to use the book itself to create a book of my own and uh, I showed you guys um, in a video I showed you I think was it last year year before last I showed you the beginnings of that book where I had Mod Podge uh, a bunch of the paper uh, from the book together to make it a solid one page and then glued with Mod Podge one of my drawings, or two, three of my drawings I did that with um, in this book and I showed it to you guys how I, how I did it and so I want to have a story next to each one, each drawing <clears throat> and uh, what happened was I ran out of Mod Podge and I couldn't complete the product, project so now that I've got some Mod Podge now I can get back on that project again and um, take a lot of my drawings that I don't want to get ruined and preserve preserve them in this way in this book and there's gonna be a story like I said with each drawing so um, yeah I've been working on that um, and this is gonna be yet another one of the drawings that'll be a part of that book um, with these beings that are coming forth with messages for me as well as for you not just for me, it's for you too, and that's why I share my art with you guys, because a lot of this work is providing uh, help for other people, a lot of guidance. Just for people looking at some of the art, I've been told it's healing for them. And uh, some of these uh, pieces that I create, you can actually meditate on them, and look at them, and uh, receive messages, helpful messages. So, um, whether it's a drawing, a painting, a handbag, uh, an art doll, a spiritual art doll, all of these pieces of artwork that I make have a message and they have a purpose and they're here to help you, to help you probably number one to unleash your creativity and realize that you are a creative being on this planet and we all are and if we don't find some way to create and um, express ourselves then we become sick and ill and uh, it's a hard it's a hard life to be extremely sick and ill on this planet especially right now and the best thing to do if you're feeling sick and ill sick and ill is to find ways to heal yourself um, and I suggest one of those ways to heal yourself is to tap into your creativity everybody is a creative being on this planet and if you say that you're not it's because you just don't want to take the time out to get to know who you are when you get to know who you are, you'll know what it is that makes you a creative being on this planet. So, I must be my phone, someone's uh, notification or something going on. But anyway, that's about all I want to share with you today. Um, this drawing, um, I'm going to be working on this probably for the rest of the evening, just to, just to mellow out. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying this drawing. Uh, oops. And I saw a few pieces of paper fly, fly out because uh, I've been wanting to work on some more, um, some more of the bookmarks. I made one bookmark, but it ended up becoming a wall hanging, <laughs> and it's a Baron Samadhi um, bookmark slash wall hanging. You could wall hang it up over your your altar. I have like 
<clears throat> I could bring it out and show it to you, but um, it's in the back room and I don't want to disturb any someone who's sleeping. So, um, but I'll show it to you on the next um, on the next uh, cannabis and creativity show. And also, you can check out my Instagram, and I'll have photos of the art that I talked about on today's show and uh, stuff that I'm doing currently that I haven't put into a video. Um, but yeah, that's about all I got for tonight. Uh, I just wanted to check in with you guys and see how you're doing and see if you're taking the time out to be creative. Um, when you're stressed out and you're feeling uh, weary <laughs> and you want to be able to put that energy somewhere and it's better to express the energy creatively. And that's why I have so many videos on this channel of a lot of the art that I create so it can help to inspire you guys and realize that when you get highly elevated you can do something with that feeling you can create art and that's a very constructive productive and creative thing to do so with that said guys thanks for joining me thanks for subscribing liking and sharing my videos with your friends and family and thank you for your kind comments if you'd like to donate you can go to my gofundme my paypal my google pay or my cash app in exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you, or I can create a video based on a topic of your choosing. With that said, brightest blessings to you all. I'll see you soon, and stay highly creative and highly productive. And feel free to share with me and the rest of the viewers here um, the art that you create through um, maybe dropping the name of your uh, your Etsy shop or your website where you sell your art or your Instagram if you sell art off your Instagram so feel free to share and we can all look at each other's art and feel inspired and know that we're all individual unique people on this planet uh, filled with creativity and it's a good thing to share it because if you share it then a lot of healing can come about from all that sharing This is not working. It's like it's unraveling. Let's try again. Doesn't want to work, guys. I have to give up on this. Let's do this. Let's um, put this over here. And then just uh, bong it the rest of the way. I've got some Baby Yoda in here in the bong, so I'll just bong it up. Too bad because it, um, oh, my finger's a little dirty from uh, painting earlier, sorry. Um, too bad that, um, that it's like that. <laughs> what can you do? All right, cheers. And once again, brightest blessings to y'all, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown in this channel. I really appreciate it, especially during these hard times right now. So, shout out to all of you guys who've been such sweet people and very uh, understanding. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you guys all continue to be very creative and productive souls on this planet. <laughs>